tomorrow stream. Um, winners, you know. We want to talk about because one of the titles is Vince McMahon. Oh, <laughs> Vince. Yeah, Vince. he's um, Vincent. he's going fed, man. Um, so apparently, oh, yeah, what's going on? What's going on with Vince? So apparently, um, the Janelle Grant, the civil suit where he's being sued, is being paused for six months because. FBI is opening a case on Vince McMahon. So basically what happened with um, Donald Trump is basically what's going on with Vince McMahon. Now, who knows what's going to happen with Trump? Like, I think it's ridiculous that no matter where you fall upon politics and who you're voting for, I don't give a fuck who you're voting for. Do not tell me. 34 felonies should probably land you in prison. <laughs> like, I think we can all agree. 34 felonies is a little excessive. Maybe you should be in prison. That's got to send you to the DC Phantom Zone, bro. That's what I'm saying. Way. Like, I think that's uh, about 32 too many felonies. Shadow realm. So that's, that's 34 too many, man. Given the fact that Trump, uh, I mean, uh, Vince did the same exact thing as in taking company money and paying employees hush money and stuff like that on top of the SA I, who knows what's going to happen um i think who like so i'm assuming the trial will start between the next 6 months if they're telling miss grant to hold off for 6 months and i was just actually listening to jim cornette talk about it before i got on stream here and he brought up a good point, basically saying, like, the feds don't want you asking all the good questions in court before, you know, they can come up with a solid excuse for it and defense for it before we can, because we trying to you trying to get money out of them. We trying to send this motherfucker to prison. So um, I don't know exactly what justice is for a victim and what she's dealt with. Is it money? Is it is it him going to prison? Who knows? But. I know what the feds want and they've already raided his house. They already seized his phone before. This yep. was about a year ago, which we started seeing him. Uh, I think he got a, like a back surgery or something. And um, now he's dealing with this. I, I, You know me, man. I always say lock all these creepy motherfuckers up. All of them. If you want some creepy shit, you can die. I don't give a fuck. Get him out, of here. Yeah, yeah. Get him out of here. Get the fuck yeah. out of here. Um, so yeah, I, I do wonder. Uh, I did come out earlier that some employee with TKO, they basically stated every meeting they emphasized that he will never be brought up again in on television, in meetings. He will, His face will never be shown on the head. He can't step foot in his own headquarters. Imagine that. Like, imagine, look at Tony Khan right now. He is the face of AEW. I think maybe now that MJF's back, we look at it a little different. But for the longest time, Tony Khan was the face of AEW. Imagine Tony Khan couldn't step foot in the headquarters of AEW. Imagine Tony Khan couldn't be brought up in AEW. Ain't that like, that's crazy, bro. That's crazy to think about. So Vince McMahon, well, he's, he's been Chris Benoit. I made a video about it. Some people disagree with me. There's no way you can disagree with me now. This dude is the he's Chris Benoit 2.0. He's pretty, pretty much. If he had survived, he has survived his suicide. They um yeah. <laughs> they did the um they didn't they recently do the rivals thing with Batista and John Cena. And one point they talk about the Royal Rumble spot where they both got eliminated at the same time. And we know what happened after that. Vince came out doing the walk, and then he fucking fucked up his leg, and then he had to mm. sit there like a baby or whatever. What did they do? I'm pretty sure him? that they didn't. Did they even talk about him in that? I think that's a huge part of it. I want to watch that. I'm sure that's something we could watch on Twitch, but I want to watch that. Maybe. I haven't caught any of them. Uh, I do know, like on uh, 2K24, they blur his face out. Of that course. is hilarious, <laughs> bro. And also, they took Brock Lesnar as a playable character because he's involved in that as well. Yes. How do y'all yes. feel about that? I mean, the whole them. So it to me, it's the process of elimination when they did the description. A former UFC champion It's like, well, who else is a former UFC champion? It's like, oh, it's Matt Riddle. I was like, mm, no, let's not come on. Yeah. And it's like, who else is a huge guy? 
but, between the realms of MMA and wrestling. How do you heavily known? How do you feel you know? about it's just like it's you? How do y'all feel about Brock basically being like sh- shadow banned from WWE? I mean, that's kind of how it should be until everything's clear. Until he's good. Or mm-hmm. they can officially say, "Oh yeah, get the fuck out of here." It's kind of it's kind of how you'd want it to be because we don't yeah. want to feature you on, on our program. Because it's like yeah. I'm starting yeah, to look at it less as a punishment and more of a legal. Yes, like a, I see it the same way. Yeah, he's still getting money. He's still getting paid because he's under contract. But for now, he's just in that he's in that zone. He's in that state until what happens. What happens? So yeah, you know, because essentially, because. I'm not making no excuses for it because, but essentially like I'm, I'm putting myself in Brock Lesnar's shoes. Like if I know it's weird, but I, we all know he's close with Vince McMahon. Like he literally walked out when Vince retired. Yeah. Like, all right. If my man's tell me, yo, I got this freak, you know what I'm saying? She go do whatever you, she, you know what I'm saying? She down for whatever. Da, 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 da. I'm not knowing that she's being mentally manipulated. I'm not knowing she's being manipulated. I'm not knowing she's being SA'd. I'm not knowing she- allegedly, allegedly, please do not. You know, we know, we know, allegedly. Yeah, allegedly. Allegedly. allegedly all over this. Yeah. So me personally, I'm just thinking it's some freak who down for the squad. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> Vince on some yeah. other shit. Like, nah, yeah, he manipulating yeah. this woman. So in a oh. in a weird way, uh, maybe I'm giving the benefit of the doubt to Brock. And he ain't no, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Those details know. are the details are very strange because, like, once again, when they did the process elimination, as far as describing who was the former UFC champion, I was like, "Well, look, man, come on now. Let's, right. like, you know, on, you're describing Brock. As far as everything else regarding Brock in that whole scenario, it's not a good look." Of course, we don't know every single detail because we never know every single fucking detail, at least not at first. So, but it's like you're not in the greatest of you're not in the greatest light right now. Yeah. So it's like he very well could have been like, hey, you know, I'm just like, and he doesn't know about everything else with John Laurinaitis and his broken voice. So he doesn't know about yeah. anything else going on there. So it's just like maybe that is the possibility. It's just. It's not a great look, regardless. And fuck, I you saw about being in his shoes. Yeah, I, I wouldn't want. I wouldn't want to be in his shoes right now. <laughs> yeah, right. And I wonder if he's still married. But uh, what was you saying, bro? My bad. Um. Yeah, you're saying you're saying that. You you would you imagine that the the general grand for if 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 this man gets arrested, would you imagine how? She that she would then go after Brock. I I think I don't know because again I'm thinking Ooh. it's like I, mean, yeah, I don't know that, oh. yeah, I don't know if that would I don't know if that would even be a charge for Brock. But, uh, you're breaking up, Brad, honestly, brother. You're breaking up. You're breaking up, sis. That's my thing. I don't know if yeah, they breaking up. did anything. Uh, I was just saying that. Uh, you good can you hear now. me now? You good uh, now? You good? Oh, <laughs> oh. <Immunity. laughs> Immunity. But, uh, um, so wait, you unmuted. So yeah, you you you're good now, right? I think you're good. You sound fine. I think. All right. Oh, I was just gonna say I don't know if that's a charge for Brock that you can really stick on. That's it. Yeah, because like okay. you got like famous people again put myself in Brock Lesnar's shoes assuming he was ignorant to everything that was going on behind the scenes the only people I'm aware that knows that she was forced or manipulated to do all of this allegedly was John Laurinaitis and Vince and Brock again just thinking maybe it's a groupie maybe it's you know what I'm saying somebody who's just down for the team so I don't think I don't think that is something that is definitely bad PR wise. Like, bro, you like to be pissed on. Like, you know what I'm saying? You was asking for P videos. That's a weird look. I ain't gonna lie. If he I German think, suplex and Jey Uso, that's the first thing I'm gonna be thinking about. Like, you know what I, I'm saying? Like, I, I think also, if I remember the context correctly, he said he wanted that favor 
exchange, trans- whatever transaction, however you want to label it from like for that to happen from this. Because I if I remember correctly, he said he wanted you know what he wanted. He but if he didn't get it, was it if he didn't get it, he wouldn't have returned at SummerSlam 2021. Wasn't that what it was? Because that uh, was the timeline, also. They no, because they broke down the timeline of the UFC champion, the former UFC champion, and said that there, that UFC champion had made a return back in 2021 in the summertime. And it's like that's a very clear, strong breakdown of who that could have been at that point. And I can only think of Brock. So yeah, if I remember correctly, that's what it was, wasn't it? Was that like he supposedly allegedly was only going to come back if he had that favor. But do that even sound like, right hmm. though? That sound it's we it's that, a weird thing. On. Like, oh, I'll give you money. Like, give me money and I'll come back for this. But it's like, oh, I also want this. It's like it's weird, but also dare I say we're normal people. We don't think like them. Right, right. And dollars. I put nothing so past rich strange. people. I put yes. nothing past rich. But I'm saying yes. like I'm not saying Brock Lesnar is the most handsome guy, but I'm sure he can yeah. get. <laughs> I'm sure he can, you know, what I'm saying, find a woman. Like he's not that desperate for it. Where it's like, all right, if you really want me, you better hand me that girl you be talking to. Like now, and from what I remember about the text, it was like Vince was like he was saying like he was implying it heavy, like Crazy shit. you know, what I'm saying like he was throwing it on Brock. Not saying like again, Brock was a very much a willing participant, but I don't think Brock knew the full extent. What's up, so I I don't think he was. The, I don't think he know the full extent of what was going on. So yes, is I don't think Brock did anything illegal, but just PR wise, that's a bad look. That's a terrible look, bro. And then like, cause I think I think about like Mac Miller, like. I don't know if y'all listened to like this video about like the last 20, like 48 hours of his life. Like he had, he had a, a prostitute, you know what I'm saying? And people, celebrities hire prostitutes a lot, man. Yeah. They do. Yeah. So it, with somebody with his money, man, I, especially why would you want Vince's girl? You know what I'm saying? Why would you want Vince's hand-me-downs? And um, why would you want to be like involved with a- anything re- like anything sexual that involves Vince, like why? That's his. That's his boy. Hey, you know that's like I said that we don't know that. Well, we know Vince. Vince's psychology because he's a freak. But it's like they're they're boys. They've been boys. So it's like like I said, you're giving him the, not the benefit of the double more. So just like he could have been, you know, not aware of that other stuff. It's kind of just like that's the thing we don't know. And to this day, like I'm kind of indifferent towards it. It's like because. Because if, if they said Brock Lesnar were to come back PR wise, it would be a mess. There's gonna be people who want him at regardless because they've been doing their best to edit him back to the video game through the yeah. custom shit. So it's like people want him back, but then it's also like like it's kind of it's a weird, it's a weird spot because it's like it's a weird spot to be in when you're friends with one of the biggest billionaires in the world who's revealed to be who he is, but then also it's like you're friends with him and you left an entire show that you were scheduled for to because of him and you came back later in the show when the segment in the show was to be earlier that ha- that featured you but you left and almost went onto the plane and left that city completely but you were to convince to come back like it's their friendship is very strong so it's like it's hard to be in that spot where it's like oh yeah this is definitely what it was it's more so just like well i could believe either side but that's yeah. the thing. I don't have all the details. It's I, you kind of just have to see how it plays out. I fully believe Mrs. Grant or Miss Grant, uh, especially given the fact that uh John Laurinaitis told, you know, basically saying, like, yeah, I'm a victim too. You know what I'm saying? Like, yes, all of this is true, but I was forced to do it. So he basically snitched on Vince. Now he's trying to I know say, that side's guilty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like I already have my mind made up about it. I'm gonna be honest yep. with you. Fuck all that guilty right. until or, I mean, my yeah. about him, Vince. Yeah, that, yeah, no. So, uh, but yeah, I, I think Vince is cooked. Fuck him. I don't give a fuck. Um, even before all this, fuck Vince. Well, I was gonna say, like, there's stories about him kicking women out of his car if they didn't do a favor. Right. Him, like, fuck. So it's like, and that was in the that. 80s or 90s. So he's been. There's stories about this. Yeah. Multiple stories. So it's like it's it, it, it's 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 not it's not one to one. So it's like don't don't use this. But like, it's kind of like how like. Kendrick's like, yeah, Drake. Say, Drake, 
I hear Mike and Young. It's like there's no evidence <laughs> of like you doing that stuff with young women, but it's like we know we've seen the threads. We, right. We've seen the images. We've seen the time. We know what you've been on in the past. You know, it's there, but it's like you can't confidently prove it, but it's like it's there. And Vince is very much like, well, even if like even if Janelle Grant is lying, which I don't think she is, in my opinion, that does not race the other 30 something, 40 plus years of you know what you did prior because it's what, what's the Dave Chappelle uh joke that he said uh, had about uh Cosby being like, all right, 60 women, 20 of them lied. You still <laughs> are awarded 40 other women. Right. It's like that's still there. It's right. still there. Like you can't ignore it. So <laughs> somebody <laughs> gotta be telling the truth. Yeah, it's like somebody's telling them. Some yes, people are gonna people definitely want some checks, but come on, man. Come on now. Right. There's there's some truth. There's truth there. Right. <laughs> and I gotta say about that. I, I do wonder, like, because I just I still can't shake this feeling like the day he dies, there will be some type of tribute to him. I just can't shake that feeling that there will be something. Uh, I I, I can I can a hundred percent see there being a tribute, to, but but like if he die if he dies suddenly like right now, I would be I would if I was in that company, I would hesitate to even to to even do a tribute. Um, like maybe what you saying, my because bad. because he's basically so. Or universally like um despised now not only because of what of you know the the whole sa thing but also yeah. the but also he's the guy that but also just being the guy that um held back dojoe for so long yeah i don't i don't i don't i don't know if we, if people would be like i'm sure there's gonna be people that are gonna be celebrating her his death. Oh, I'm yeah. sure there's gonna That's be people. crazy. But but I mean, you know he's smoking if he suddenly dies, people pack. are gonna be like really uncomfortable with that. Yeah, I, I think um I think I'll predict this and we can make a bet chat. I predict <laughs> he will die before he di- uh, goes to prison. Like I I think if he will be found guilty and I think he'll pull a what's that guy's name who killed himself? Epstein? Epstein. Yeah, yeah, I think he had pull of Epstein. Like this mm-hmm. dude is already fucking look. He looked he looked half dead already. So <laughs> yeah, I don't think he'll. I, I think if he dies before being found guilty, they'll find a way to finesse it and say that you know he was never found guilty. So yeah, you know he is in his seventies. Hmm. So just and. Not to brag about stuff, but my grandmother, who lived on a third world country her entire life, lived to 103. So Jeez. knowing that he has all the money to take care of all his illnesses, probably he will he will live at the very least until his 90s. So he will. What I can, what I think is that he will go to prison, but he will be released due to ill health, and he will die. Hmm. Yeah. Very, very ignorant man. They're ignorant to die too. Not die. just, you know. Without Vince, we don't have WWE as it is. No human is perfect. He deserves a tribute from the rest. No, he, no, he doesn't, bro. <laughs> Did someone no. in the chat say that? Yeah, Kane Pro. Like, so I understand. So what was you saying? Hmm. So, so, so I guess I should get this out of the way because we all know this. A lot of those dudes, the the ones in their forties and fifties, whatnot, they appreciate Vince. They some of them still talk to Vince, and they they see him as a father figure. One hundred percent. That's that. With that being said, we don't need to bend to the need to him as a person because we know he's a huge part of my childhood as far as what I've seen on television. But this is kind of like what I said about I had a different discussion about this in a VC last night regarding a hip hop discussion. It's like, oh, where would hip hop be without Drake? I'm like, I don't need to bend the knee to you because you might have helped a favorite artist of mine or I like some of your songs. Like, no, no, no. We very well could recognize what you've contributed. That I don't mean I got to defend you as a person. And that goes right. for R. Kelly. That goes for Cosby. That goes for a lot of these dudes. Like, nah, I ain't, I'm not doing that. Get, yeah. get, look, bro. Little Bill was cool as a five year old, bro. I ain't watching Little Bill no more. Right, <laughs> it's right. like I'm good. Like, <laughs> get out of here. Yeah. If I gotta explain why I'm listening to you, or explain why you know what I'm saying whatever, if I gotta defend listening to you or whatever, like eh, maybe I shouldn't be listening. And remember to you, too. So. 
remember people who say things like, and I'm not trying to call out this person's name in the chat by any degree, but it's like, remember, you're saying things like he's not perfect. The shit he did allegedly, allegedly to Janelle Grant, would you say that sentence if it was someone in your circle, a sister, an aunt, a mother? Would you be saying that? A daughter? Would you be saying that then? Because I guarantee you'd be having a different tone. That's why it's like, look, man, he did what he did in this industry. Contributed a lot of good stuff. Contributed a lot of bad. But beyond just the booking and how you ran his company, him as a person, that's also critical to your uh, perception as a, you know, just as a being in the public eye. That's just how it is. So add him to the list (laughs) because he should be added to the list. He's already on that list. And, you know, we'll move on with this world beyond Vince because there is a world beyond Vince McMahon, not just in wrestling, but the planet, the world. So that's how it should be with anything. Yeah, that's all I gotta say about that. Yeah, I, I think there is a certain thing where we can respect what people did, as in, you know, their production of moving or evolving something that we all love. I definitely do. I love wrestling. Like WWE is a big part of me and who I am. But I also can say the person behind it and the person who built it up is a piece of shit who deserves to die. Um, I, I don't. Uh, I appreciate it, but a tribute? No, nah, a tribute is a, a tribute to him is we don't kill you ourselves. We let you die by, from natural causes. That is a tribute fit, fitting because just as much positivity as you brought in the world, you've brought just as much negativity, if not more. So, no, you don't deserve a tribute. You don't deserve a statue. You don't deserve even the Hall of Fame, you're not being inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. I know. Nope. Yeah, no. So, <laughs> nope. Um, sorry, Kane Pro. I'm sorry. I'm very tired and I need to get some sleep. But we will be discussing the ratings tomorrow on stream if you would like to join and we could continue this conversation tomorrow. Um, I appreciate all of you. Yo, y'all in the chat, y'all in the Discord. See, uh, I know you at work. Nope, you just dipped. All right. Um, 